Did you ever get a need to work with multiple Java versions? Maybe you are working with multiple client projects which are using different Java versions. Or maybe you want to install some latest Java version and then play with new features. In this case, SDK Man is the tool that you are looking for. SDK Man is a tool you can use to install and manage some of the popular JVM based softwares. Here, if you go to sdkman.io, you can see a list of JDK vendors offering variety of Java versions. You can install any version of Java from any of these vendors. Let's see how we can install and then use sdkman. Installing sdkman is really very easy. You can go to sdkman.io and click on install and here, if you are running on uh, Linux or Mac OS, uh, you can run this simple command, which will automatically install SDK Man. Whereas if you are using Windows operating system, there are a couple of ways you can get it to install on Windows OS. You might want to use Windows subsystem for Linux or use uh, Sigwin to install. On top of it, you can install SDK Man. So I am currently using Mac OS and I have already installed SDK man. Now I can see SDK version. So this is the version I am currently using SDK man 5.15.0. Now I can see what are all the Java versions available for me to install. I can run SDK list Java, which will display all the uh, wide variety of uh, JDK distributions available. So here we can see a few JDK options from Amichan Coreto, and there are a few Graal VM options, and uh, there are a few from Microsoft and few from Oracle. So uh, here I have already installed a few of them. So it already shows uh, installed. Let's say I want to install a new version. Let's say I want to install 11.0.14.1 MS. So what I can do, I can type SDK install Java and, and the identifier version number. So what it will do is it goes to internet and download this version and then uh, install locally and then prompt me whether I want to set it as a default version or not. So while this is uh, being installed, let us take a quick look at what other SDKs it offers. So here, SDK Man manages to uh, install all these uh, wide variety of softwares. So uh, some of the notable ones are like uh, ASCII Doctor J and Doc Toolchain, Gradle, Grails, Groovy, JBang, and JReleaser, Kotlin, Maven, and Maven Daemon, SPT. Quarka CLI. So there are Spring Boot. So there are a lot of uh, useful tools that are there to install automatically so that you don't have to go and check on their uh, websites and then try to download and then configure by yourself. You can simply use SDK man to automatically install all of this. And the good thing is you can install multiple versions of it and then switch to different version based on your need. Let us see. Uh, it's almost done. It's going to uh, install and then prompt whether I want to make it as a default. Uh, I will say no. And then currently, let us see what is my Java version. So right now, I have Java version 11.0.14 as the default one. Here, we have a couple of projects. Java 11, Maven app, Java 17, Maven app. So, what my need is, when I, want, when I am working with Java 11 Maven app, I want to use Java 11 version. Whereas when I am working with Java 17 Maven app, I want to use Java 17. So what I can do, if I go into Java 17 Maven app, but still as of now, Java version is Java 11.0.14 only, but I want to use uh, Java 17. So I can take a look at what I have already installed. 
and it is going to display what are all the uh, versions I have already installed. So here I have already installed 17.02 open and also, okay, I'll take this and I will switch to use 17.02 open. So what I can do to use Java 17 is SDK use Java Java 17. So when I use SDK use uh, Java and uh, Java version number, for this particular shell, it is going to use that version of Java. Right now, if I see Java version, it's going to display Java 17. Now let's say, I want to uh, work on Java 11 and I will go Java 11. So here currently my Java version is still Java 17, but I want to switch to Java 11. So what I can do, SDK use Java 11. Okay. So now in this particular shell, I'm switching to Java 11. Now, if I type again Java version, now it is switching to Java 11.0.14. Nice. But again, every time when you are moving to a different directory, you need to run these commands SDK use Java so and so version number. So there is a better alternative to it. So right now, let's say we are in Java 11 Maven app, right? So what we can do, we can run SDK env in it. What it will do is, it will create this .stk man rc file and then put what version we are using there. If we cat this file. So here it says Java equals to 11.0.14. So in this current shell, we are at we are using Java 11, right? So it automatically added that version here. Now let's say let's do the same thing for Java 17 app also. So here now uh, let's run the same command SDK env in it, and SDK man file is created. However, now if we cat this file. It shows uh, we configured it to use Java 11 only. Let us edit .stk nrc. Let me copy this version. So now we configured it to uh, use Java 17. Now to activate this version, what we can do, we can run SDK env. So what it will do, it will read that dot SDK man RC and then activate those, those specific versions. Now, if I press Java hyphen version, it shows Java 17, but still it's a manual step. Instead of having to run SDK env command every time when we uh, move to a different project to activate uh, specific versions, SDK man offers a uh, automated way of doing this. Uh, let us see what is the con default configuration we have. You can run SDK config, which displays some configuration parameters. So one that we are interested in here is SDK man auto env Right now, by default, it is false. We can change it to true. True. So now, with when we make this as true, now let us say I want to go to Java 17 Maven app. So now I don't have to actually uh, run SDK env to enable uh, Java 17. It automatically look at dot SDK man RC and then activate Java 17. Now I can see Java version. Now it is Java 17. Let me move to CDK 
Java 11 on app. It automatically reads and activate Java 11.0.14 MS. So this is uh, pretty convenient. You don't have to remember, and especially when you are uh, working in a team, it, it greatly simplifies what version entire team is using. And one another uh, uh, nice convenience is when working with the team, let's say you have this start SDK man RC file and you can commit it to Git so that whenever uh, a new team member join and they have clearly uh, an idea what versions of Java you are using. And another very interesting uh, feature is, let's say a new member is joined your team and they don't have uh, this version installed. So what they can do, they can simply run SDK env install. So this is going to read uh, what are the uh, versions you specified in dot SDK manrc and try to install if they are not already installed. Let us say we are trying to use some uh, Gradle version. Let's say uh, SDK list Gradle. Right now, I have already installed uh, 741, it seems. Now, let's say I want to install 742. Okay, what I can do, VA SDK and RC. Gradle equals to 742. So now when a team member joins, all they need to do is SDK env install. So it's gonna take a look at uh, what tools are already installed, what are not already installed and download them and automatically uh, uh, configure this uh, new libraries. So this is uh, pretty convenient. As we have seen, this SDK man is a great tool and it is uh, it makes working with different versions pretty convenient. And I strongly recommend you to uh, try it out and see. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.